Today I'm filming the 2021 Jeep Wrangler Eco Diesel here. But looking at the front face here of the Wrangler, the Wrangler is not a bad looking off-roading vehicle here. But looking at the, it does have the company's seven slot grill here with this front facing camera. There is this washer on the end of it to keep it clean. Looking at these headlights, there's gonna be a full LED with an LED daytime running light with an LED turn signal. And down here at the bumper, Jeep does offer LED fault lights. This is a steel bumper here. There's red tow hooks. You can also add an aftermarket winch here. So just in case you wanted to get someone unstuck off-road, you can definitely do so. I like the way the hood looks with the creases, with the bulge. If you guys are wondering what these little uh, tabs here, there's for the windshield, so you can fold the window, the windshield down to get more of an uh, airy cabin. Matesta does have the convertible option to let more light into that cabin there. But looking at the side fender, there's this Rubicon badge. Also, there's the trail rated 4x4 badge. Also, your Jeep uh, Wrangler Unlimited badge there. Looking at these rims and uh, tire setup here, these are a BF Goodrich tire. They're all terrain tire. These are a 285 70 and they're wrapped in this 17 inch rim design. I like these silver with the black uh, inserts there. There's also this small little uh, Wrangler uh, Easter egg there. Overall, the Wrangler is not a bad looking uh, off-roader here, but making our way to the rear here, looking at the fuel uh, door here, this is the 3 liter V6 Eco Diesel. This does offer the DEF, which stands for Diesel Exhaust Fluid. So every 10,000 miles, the, your local dealership will switch it out for you. But making our way to the rear here, looking at these tail lights, are going to be a full LED with an LED turn signal, with an LED brake light, with an LED reverse light. This is the only way that you're going to tell that you have the Eco Diesel, which is why this badge here. And down here at the bumper, there's going to be rear parking sensors and LED light for the tag. There's one red tow hook here. Uh, the your seven and four pin connector there and jeep says you can tow around 3500 pounds with the eco diesel here and i like that the jeep does throw in this full spare tire here the backup camera is going to be here just like the front they do give you this little easter egg here with the wrangler there but open up the uh, cargo capacity back here i like that this has this barn door here all you gotta do is flip the glass up jeep says you get 32 cubic feet of space once you fold down the back seats here you get 72 cubic feet of space back here there's also this 12 volt right here and underneath here there's this a uh, shallow amount of underflow storage here so i'm sitting inside the interior of the 2021 jeep wrangler eco diesel looking at this interior this interior is nice jeep hasn't changed anything for the 2021 model year but i do like the red here splash on the dashboard you can also remove the doors of course and fold down the windshield to have an open uh, cabin here by shutting the door to start up the eco diesel just put your foot on the brake and press the start stop button right here the gauges will do a nice sweep you're greeted by this uh, rubicon emblem there looking at the door panel material is going to be a soft touch ejection mode plastic here this is aluminum door handle your mirror adjustment controls are there your headlight controls are here also with your dimmer switches your lock controls over here is going to be padded for the armrest i like the stitching here down here is going to be a, a cargo uh, for additional storage cargo mat pocket for additional storage looking at the steering wheel it's going to be a manual tilt telescoping it kind of offers a good amount of adjustability of range looking here at this trackpad here you can cycle through this lcd display by using this trackpad here it shows you different things like your speed also your screen setup here messages when you have your phone connected your audio sources like your fm uh, satellite radio the start stop also your trip information i've been averaging 14.3 miles to the gallon also your fuel economy so it does tell you uh, what you've been averaging i'm sorry i've been averaging 18.3 miles to the gallon not 14.3 i was looking at the wrong thing this does have the driver's assistance which includes adaptive cruise control with blind spot monitoring with foreclosure warning this is your off-road page your sway bar connection here it does show you the degrees and whatnot when you turn the steering wheel there's some red stitching here on the steering wheel i like the nice leather wrap steering wheel here like i mentioned adaptive cruise control your voice commands here to answer the phone your jeep emblem here i do like the airbag cover there this is a three spoke wheel design i like the aluminum trim here on the steering wheel looking here my tesla does have android auto and apple carplay once i unlock my phone here You just click the CarPlay button down there. The screen is fast, it's uh, responsive here. As you guys can see, the Google Maps takes up the complete screen here. This is the Uconnect 4 system, which is a really nice system. Uh, Jeep hasn't put the Uconnect 5 system on the Wrangler yet, but it's gonna be coming uh, really soon. Over here for the controls here, there's, this does have a heated steering wheel, also heated front 
uh, seats here for the driver and passenger. There's a backup camera there. So as you can see, nice resolution with trajectory. This does have rear parking sensors. It also has a front camera uh, there, as you can see, um, when you're driving or you want to hit a rocks or whatnot, when you're taking this thing off roading. You can also clean the camera by pressing this. It will shoot uh, the washer. Uh, we'll shoot some washer fluid on the actual front camera and rear camera to keep it clean. Over here is going to be some physical hard buttons here for the front and rear defogger, a heated steering wheel button, three level heated seats. I wish Jeep will offer cool seats here on the Wrangler. There's also a mute button for the radio, automatic start stop, stability control, parking sensors, hill descent. You can turn the screen off just in case there's these big knobs here for the climate control, also for a volume and tune knob. Over down here is going to be a 12 volt. This is for the windows. You can also lock the uh, windows for the rear passengers. Down here is for the front and rear locking differential here. There's an off-road mode. There's sway bar. You also have some auxiliary ports there. This is for the two high, four high, neutral, and four low. I showed you guys this before. This thing, you have to manhandle this lever here because this thing is really tough. Over here is going to be a traditional handbrake. Putting the Wrangler into reverse here, as you guys can see, like I showed you, this is the, the backup camera trajectory distance markers, like I mentioned. Uh, kicking down here to drive and over to the left, there's a manual mode. This does have the eight speed automatic transmission. Putting it back into park over here. This is a USB, a USB C, an aux port. It does say media, of course, so you can actually know where to charge your phone. I do like the red here splashed on the actual dashboard. It looks really nice. There's some stitching here on the top, additional storage here. The seat in here, they're supportive, they're comfortable. I like that it says Rubicon with red stitching. There's some stitching here on the seats as well. This area here is going to be padded. This does have a two tier storage here. And there's also a USB port inside there. It's shallow, but it does offer a good amount of storage. There's your Wrangler name spelled out here on this grab handle. The glove compartment is small. You can definitely fit your owner's manual in there as well. Up here, it's gonna be for assistance, SOS. There's this frameless mirror. And my tester does have the convertible option here as a power, uh, power function to let some light into this cabin. As you guys can see, the cabin was a little dark, but now since I got the uh, top open here it does let a lot of light into this cabin even to the uh, back seats there but overall this is a nice interior jeep did a really good job they didn't like i mentioned they didn't change too much but the interior is, is not looking stale but overall let's hop into the back seat of the jeep wrangler so i'm sitting in the back seat here of the 2021 jeep wrangler looking at the leg room jeep says you get 38 inches of leg room. there's going to be two cargo mat pockets back here with rear air vents this is for the window controls here there's a three prone household outlet back here. This is where I have the seat to drive. I'm only five foot eight. And with this opening here or this uh, drop top, uh, it does let a lot of light into this cabin. Honestly, I don't like a dark cabin, but with the convertible open here, it does let a lot of light into this cabin here. But shutting the door, the door sounds solid. The materials do continue from the front to the back. Soft touch with aluminum door handle, nice area here to rest your elbows and whatnot. Uh, I'm only five foot eight. I have plenty of headroom, especially when you have the convertible open here, which is a nice uh, field. It let a, lets a lot of light into this cabin, also air. Jeep did a really good job, but putting this armrest down here, there is two cup holders. But honestly, the, be the back seat here of the Wrangler is not a bad place to sit. So I have the hood pop for the 2021 Jeep Wrangler Eco Diesel. Let's see what powers the Eco Diesel here. This has the company's three liter V6. This is the third generation of the 3 liter turbo diesel V6 that you can get on the Ram 1500. It's the Italian built engine and Jeep made a few changes to it. They relocate the injection system and also the alternator. But this makes 260 horsepower, 442 pound feet of torque, and it's paired with an 8 speed automatic transmission. And as the Wrangler sits, it weighs 4,800 pounds. Fuel economy is rated at 21 in the city, 26 on the highway, and 23 combined. So starting off in the 2021 Jeep Wrangler Eco Diesel, this has the company's three liter V6. It makes 260 horsepower and 442 pounds for the torque. And it's paired with an eight speed automatic transmission. Uh, for all my uh, diesel lovers out there, if you like to hear clattering sound and whatnot, the Wrangler here offers it. It's really muted, but it doesn't intrude into the cabin. But I do like the way that it sounds. But just driving this thing so far honestly i'm really impressed with the powertrain it's smooth it's refined i don't feel any harsh vibrations from the steering wheel or from the chassis so jeep they did a really good job here with the third generation uh powertrain here which is the uh, eco diesel 
and Jeep will offer this with the Gladiator uh, as well. The steering field in here, it does have that uh, recirculative uh, ball type steering with the Wrangler and well, basically what Jeeps are known for. So you can take this thing off roading. But the ride uh, quality in here feels really good. The seats in here, they're comfortable. They hold you in place. They're not aggressively bolstered, but I do like the way the seats feel. Uh, Jeep doesn't offer cool seats here. They don't offer three level heated seats. I wish they would offer cool seats here. It would be a nice uh, addition here. But three level heated seats, if you stay in a cold weather state, of course, they would be nice. And they also offer a, a heated steering wheel function here. We're putting my foot down here. Like I mentioned, this thing makes 442 pound feet of torque which is not bad. So this thing is always, this basically is gonna have a lot of low end torque and honestly you feel the surge of torque. It's enough to kind of push you back in the seat. But um, I do like the way that, I mean, I do like that it's really torquey in it at a lower, uh, a lower RPM. Uh, fuel economy really quick is rated at 21 in the city, 26 on the highway and 23 combined. So it does get good fuel economy on the uh, highway here. I think around between, maybe with Phillips, you might have to not have to fill this thing up maybe 400 or 500 miles um uh, this thing does have uh the air efficiency as a brick on four wheels so the fuel economy could be a little bit better if jeep probably would like to uh, basically if they redesigned the wrangler here but overall it still gets really good fuel economy uh one thing i'm gonna say is the stirring you have to get used to the stirring here if you're not used to driving a jeep every day or it's your first time driving a jeep the steering might feel a little weird to you compared to a traditional car or SUV. Um, but let's do a launch here. Not a launch, I'm sorry. Let's do um, acceleration run. I'm gonna keep, I'm just gonna just keep the traction on. I'm just gonna slow the accelerator. Uh, Jeep says zero to 60, maybe 6.2 uh, seconds or in the high seven second range, which is not bad zero to 60 timing, but you're not gonna take this thing to go drag race or anything like that. This thing is basically to tow or to get your family from point A to point B. Also with a really smooth uh, ride quality, also with a really f uh, smooth uh, powertrain, which honestly, I do like this diesel powertrain. So like I mentioned, all my diesel uh, lovers out there, if you like to hear clatter, you can hear the clatter, um, but it will not intrude into the cabin a lot, but you can hear it. Uh, visibility here out of the Wrangler it's not bad of course like I mentioned this thing is shaped like a box you have these decent size uh, mirrors here this does offer blind spot monitoring with adaptive cruise control this thing has plenty of cameras around this vehicle for the front and rear so you can always see what's around you like I mentioned it's, it's shaped like a box so you could uh, basically see um, there's really no blind spots in this car and I like that my tester does have the convertible option you can open that to let this cabin have more light into it and to give it more of an airy feel so if you had kids that would like to see the stars at night you can just open up that and just let them see it but overall the wrangler here it's not a bad drive it's not a bad daily driver especially if you go for the eco diesel version here and this is the third generation uh three liter uh, v6 uh, eco diesel uh ram does offer this on the ram 1500 so if you like the powertrain and you have a ram 1500 uh eco diesel you're gonna like the powertrain here on the Wrangler, it's the same powertrain. They just made a few changes. They changed the injection system, changed the alternator. So they did make a few changes to have this thing the way that it is now, instead of how it is on the uh, Ram, Ram 1500, which is a bigger uh, vehicle. Of, of course, that's a pickup truck, but this thing gets really good fuel economy. Yeah, it does handle really good. But like I mentioned, you have to get used to the steering feel of the Wrangler. If it's your first time driving the Wrangler, you have to get used to the steering feel. So after spending time with the 2021 Jeep Wrangler Eco Diesel, honestly, I'm really impressed with the powertrain here of the Wrangler, it's really refined and it's smooth. Also, this thing has a really smooth ride quality, even though it's a box on four wheels. How much does a Wrangler cost? Sighting price for my tester is at $42,215. My tester has plenty of options that I cannot remember. So tester here has an asset price at $69,599. I would like to give a special thanks to Dayland, Chrysler, Jeep, and Ram for providing me with the 2021 Jeep Wrangler Eco Diesel. If you're in a market for a Wrangler Eco Diesel, you can come to Dateland, Chrysler, Jeep, and Ram. I hope you guys have enjoyed my full overview on the 2021 Eco Diesel. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Drive On Reviews, and please keep subscribing to my YouTube channel, and I'll catch you all in the next video.